in the beginning, the first Monday in all of history, you gave us the garden in all its glory for your glory and saw fit to allow us to get to bask in it. But in fruitless greed, we unfortunately agreed with the serpent and believed a certain fruit was missing from our basket, managing to remove from our minds our humility in the midst of an almighty maker. And thus came Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, just day after days, years spent in desolation as we reap the consequences of our creations, continuing to spit in the face of your perpetual grace, mocking the miracles of Moses and Abraham and David and Elijah, spending centuries stuck in the center of our own story. And then Friday, we found your love yet again, but this time personified in a son, the promised land fully realized in a promised man, fully God and fully man, your perfect plan. Oh, happy day. We're saved from our self-inflicted pain. You yourself came and we took God freely given and we beat him and tortured him and embarrassed him and killed him. We made sure that he endured our most maximum pain to ensure every notion of his divinity was silenced and done. And on Saturday, it seemed that we were back to square one, our best chance now squandered, the serpent had won. But come Sunday, the silent sun stepped forth victorious in reverberating sound heard around the universe. Our curse now lifted, no thanks to us. Hey, hey, wasn't his body mortally broken? Oh no, his heel was barely bruised as he sidestepped death and served it back to the serpent, crushing its head. And instead of rightful retribution to us, the real offenders, Jesus took what we rightfully deserved. We gave no contribution. It was an eclipse of the sun never needing to happen again. It's unfathomable. The debt that we surmounted was paid in full by the same one we hung on that mountain. We were left shaking when our perceived power was ultimately proven powerless. But in spite of our crimes, the sacrifice divine stretched out his nail-pierced hand with mercy and a grace much too great to understand. See, see this, this is my testimony that, that I've spent many a Monday through Saturday just steeped in a cycle of sin that I allow in through speakers and screens and back out spewing through my teeth. Even all of my righteous deeds are but filth and fodder when I'm the sole author. I can do nothing on my own but continue to cling to the material and the mundane. But when I come Sunday, your spirit washes all of that away. I am now clean. Your love refreshes and restores through the prayers and hugs of your people in these doors. Even every small smile is a gift graciously given. And as, as my self-absorbed fog fades, I can finally see the abundance in life that you desire for me. I have no choice but to sing and testify to the Lord Jesus Christ who lives in me. As imperfect as it may be, the church was chosen by Christ as, as his bride. And if you find yourself searching for something sweet and satisfying, not the bitter and bleak that you get every single week when the pen is in your own hand, writing your own story, then I plead for you to come Sunday, repent, taste and see, witness your script get rewritten by its rightful author and instead of the dread that mondays always tend to bring i can boldly promise you will find new purpose and new peace better than you could ever believe <laughs>